All right, guys, let's talk about books and what type of books you should read. Um, I'm not going to go into specific titles in this video, but I'll just tell you about what genres I like to read and why you should read these. Okay, let's get started. Now, if you have been watching this channel for a while, you would notice that previously I took a very polarized view against fiction books. I used to say fiction books were garbage and you shouldn't read them, that they were a waste of your time, and you should stick strictly to nonfiction. Look at my comments in retrospect, uh, they seem kind of ignorant, as you shouldn't just take a complete side on any given topic. There is definitely room for fiction in your library. Fiction has its place. It helps you um, use your imagination a bit better. It definitely can discuss certain themes that do happen in the real world and can challenge your mind to think. So fiction is very good and you should definitely read some fiction. I'm taking back my stance on that. Now the next genre that I recommend everyone should read is psychology. You see, um, at the basis, or at the base, we are still animals. So, being able to understand your psychology can definitely give you the upper hand when dealing with some um, of the vicissitudes that appear in life. You'll be able to understand why you react in certain ways to certain circumstances. And the particular psychology you should check out is definitely evolutionary psychology, because that's a very interesting um, branch. And it can give light to a lot of things that you might have questions on. So check out psychology. And also check out philosophy. Philosophy is probably one of my favorite genres. See, philosophy helps you develop your critical um, thinking skills. A lot of philosophy starts off with a certain topic premise. And then you branch off from that, um, entertain different ideas until you get closer to what is accepted as the truth or most likely answer to a question. So if you are a philosopher, you'll be able to think critically and ponder about a lot of things in life and have really good discussions with your friends. So philosophy is really good. Make sure you check out philosophy, especially the branch of stoicism, which I've done a few videos on on this channel which is more practical type of philosophy that helps you deal with some of the problems you might have in life. It helps you just push through and keep on your hustle. So check out philosophy. Um, what else? Okay, biographies. I love biographies. Again, first-hand experience from someone who's already done something, seeing their world through their lens can definitely give you some insight so check out biographies especially from great people that have done things in the past Malcolm X and whatnot whoever just make sure you read your fair share of biographies also you should read about making money too this this is a changing economy that we're living in the internet's changing things up and if you want to do well for yourself you need to understand about making money you need to understand about you know your finances understand about investing, understand what an asset is, a liability, cash flow, and all these things, ROI, things that they don't teach you in school. And if you can understand these things, you'll be better equipped to um, make your life what you want it to be, to have a successful life, to have abundance, and to enjoy it. Remember, a lot of these things they don't teach you in school, you have to go out there and get this knowledge yourself. So it's up to you to equip yourself with the tools. And don't just read on one genre. As we always say, don't be the hammer man. To a man with a hammer, every problem becomes a nail. You don't want the hammer. You want the hammer, you want the chainsaw, you want the scissors, you want everything under your disposal. So that's my tip for you guys today. Broaden up your reading. And yeah, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Peace. Just do it!